Hello my friends. Why is there a giant lounge fly pile behind me? Well, we are doing my lounge fly princess collection. Wow, all right, let's go. Yeah, so this was a thumbnail thing. I hope you appreciate it because I worked really hard on it even though the picture did not turn out the way I wanted it to by any means. And now that I'm looking at my couch, that's probably how I should have done it. But um, the thing happened, it's here. Like this is going to collapse while I'm doing this video and I'm okay with that, I've accepted it. Anyways, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna grab one and we're gonna go. <laughs> this is my Aurora crossbody bag. I got this one from Hot Topic. It's super cute, it has this big crossbody strap. We have Aurora on the front. With the birds in the back. Since it's Hot Topic, it does have a plain inner lining, which is pink, I believe. Yes, and then it has this zipper pocket, which the crossbody bags always have. This next bag I recently got is the um, Princess Animal Sidekick Situation All Over Placement Bag. It is very, very cute. It has all the different sidekicks. You have Meredith's Brothers, uh, Jock and Gus Gus, um, Flounder and Sebastian, the forest friends from Sleeping Beauty and Snow White. Very, very cute placement, and it has this really nice Tiffany blue and silver hardware. We have a front pocket, we have side pockets, and then we have this really nice inner lining with a back zipper pocket. Hope you all grabbed a snack, it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> Next, we have um, Beauty and the Beast. This is a white, um, I don't know what you would call these, like, because it's kind of like a painting. It's not an all over placement. But it's super, super, super gorgeous. You have this beautiful black right here, and it's Belle and Beast on their little stairwell in the castle. And it is white. I know that freaks a lot of people out, but I just thought it was gorgeous. It has these white tassels on the zipper, and this was from Box Lunch. And this one is actually pretty big, which is nice. It has a back zipper pocket and beast bell in the castle. Um, to give you a size comparison, definitely a little bit bigger. I do like this shape of bag just because it fits more. Next is Tiana. Again, one of those like artwork and embroidery bags. Super, super beautiful. And we have um, Tiana, I believe, as a frog on the back. Oh, no, it's Prince Naveen, I think. Right? Yeah, that's Prince Louis. And then we have the pockets. Oh, there's no pockets on this one. This one was from Box Lunch. And it has this beautiful little lily pad bag charm on the zipper. And it does have a back zipper pocket with this cute little lily pad inner lining. So we have my girl Aurora. This is a Hot Topic bag. It's Aurora and the owl in the forest. And I love the detail of the little birds. And I think it's cute that they did pink and blue birds. We have the leather lounge fly tag. This does not have side pockets, but it does have this little floral pattern. Super nice. The inner lining is just a plain pale pink with that pocket in the back. This bag is a crossbody. This is Snow White, and I'll be honest with y'all, I don't even know how to act when I wear this bag. It is so classy, so cute. Like this lacy detail of Snow White with the velvet bow, these beautiful flowers, the baby blue, the baby pink. So gorgeous, and it is very sturdy right here. Um, it doesn't have feet, which would have been nice, but that's okay. Um, and on the inside, we have white inner lining. Next is another princess sidekick bag. I know not everybody considers Moana a princess, but she is in the princess lineup, so deal with it. <laughs> um, this is Pua and Hey Hey with this cute little flower charm. I'm pretty happy with this placement. I have Pua and Hey Hey everywhere, which we love. Rose gold hardware. This, for some reason, some of these bags have just a Disney leather tag. They are lounge fly bags. Why it doesn't have the full lounge fly tag, I can't tell you. It's it's odd, but and that's the inside of the bag. Next is another kind of sidekicky bag. Um, this is again a Sleeping Beauty bag because you know I love her. But it's the fairies. So it's Flora, Fauna, and Mayweather. Super super cute. And okay, so. Talia Ambala, I know Disney officially says that she is a red fairy, but she is definitely pink. No one can tell me otherwise. That is pink. That is pink. <laughs> and what really sold me on this bag is it has the spindle bag charm with this kind of brassy gold hardware. Super nice. On the inside, we have this rose blush pink with the back pocket. 
Hopkins. This next bag is again a sidekick bag. If you haven't noticed, I love the sidekicks. This is my Mushu Hot Topic bag and has the Cricky bag charm. So, so adorable. Great placement of Mushu. You all know we love Mushu. But the same kind of brassy gold hardware. And the inner lining is that Mulan red with a back pocket. The next bag is Rapunzel, my second favorite princess. This bag is so, so nice. It's this placement of Rapunzel and Flynn and Rapunzel herself and Rapunzel and Maximus. It says, live your dreams. It has this purple side pocket. Not only do I love the color purple, but I love Rapunzel. <laughs> so we have the sun charm in this big front pocket. The zipper is a little difficult to maneuver because of this fold, but it is a very spacious and nice pocket. And then we have gold hardware, as you can tell with a inner zipper pocket and a really nice inner lining. Again, this is a really decent size. Um, this one's even bigger than the Beauty and the Beast bag to give you a comparison. Much, much bigger. Next is Olaf. <laughs> he is so, so cute. Uh, again, again with the sidekicks. I have this cute little Olaf keychain on here. I got this from Shop Disney for like, well, actually my boyfriend bought it for me for like 40 bucks. He was on sale and he's a sequin bag and we love him. We have this pocket right here. Again, it's a little difficult, like the Pluto one to open. So I don't really use it. I just use the main zipper pouch and the side pouches. The inner lining for this bag is too cute. I would seriously wear it as an ugly sweater. So adorable. This next bag is from Box Lunch and is one of my favorites. It is so, so beautiful. Beautiful. It is the Disney couples bag and this is actually really cute for Valentine's Day. I'm kind of hoping maybe they'll restock it. This one was very popular. I ended up getting it on sale somehow. Um, it's got this really nice suede material and it has this cute little heart charm about all the couples. So, so pretty. Um, and this is like really soft, like a suede. This one actually is a pretty good size too. And we have the back zipper pocket with hearts. I just really like the aesthetic and the colors of this bag. It's so, so pretty. And obviously we have your couple. So we have Snow White and Prince Charming, Ariel and Eric, um, Jasmine and Aladdin. I believe Snow White, yeah, or um, Aurora and Philip are on here, I think. Beast and Belle. I thought Tiana was on here, but maybe she's not. She's not, but super nice so this is merida i the second i saw that this bag was going to be coming out i knew i had to have it um this is one of my favorite or this is well this is my mom's favorite princess i obviously love all the princesses but i love merida because my mom loves her so much and she's just awesome like i'll shoot for my own hand yes yes queen like love it the colors are super gorgeous these flowers are embroidered on and you know this front pocket with Merida and her brothers as bears, which I'm glad they did that because I love her brothers as bears. They're so cute. The inner lining is the wisps and it has a back pocket. It's very hard to see because it's darker colors. Next is Pocahontas. I absolutely love this bag. It is so cute. The artwork is amazing. You have Miko at the top and it's all these different scenes of her throughout the movie. And the back, I love. <laughs> so, so cute. So this picture of Miko flying in the air. <laughs> it does have these side pockets, which is really nice. It has that same kind of suede material as um, the couple's bag that I showed you, but not quite as soft. And we have this inner lining right here. This next bag is actually the first launch fly I ever bought, aside from my wallet, like the first actual bag. It is this black princess silhouette bag. It's kind of tiny. And it doesn't have a front pouch so that's kind of what made me branch out and buy more after this but i have this really cute little elsa charm on here plus charm we've got aurora Belle, um cinderella and snow on the front with this small pocket right here we do have the side pockets where the metal tag is and i love and i love that they have this castle detail up here and here is the inner lining there is no back pocket on this one unfortunately this next bag is little mermaid and this is the ariel's grotto bag from box lunch it is so cute so we have this like button front pocket which is kind of unique um and like, these side pockets and these zippers have cute little pearls so beautiful and then on the back you have 
Ariel and flounder. We love flounder. The inner lining is just a plain blue, but it does have a back zipper pocket. Next is another um, Sleeping Beauty um, Aurora bag. <laughs> she is my favorite, so I have a lot of her. I actually have this keychain on it made by Delaney Marie Designs. She's a great small shop on Instagram. I highly recommend her. Um, and this is the Sleeping Beauty Castle. Here it says Once Upon a Dream with these gorgeous flowers. On the back, we have some more of those flowers and the um, curse that Maleficent puts on Sleeping Beauty and then Maleficent is right here. And the inner lining, I believe, it's actually like Maleficent's initial, but it's very hard to see. And there's a zipper pocket, but there's also a front pouch in the front. This one definitely has a unique style and doesn't look like your typical lounge fly, but it is very much my style. This is the kind of bag I carried before carrying lounge flies. So when I saw this came out, I knew I had to have it, I bought it immediately. <laughs> this bag I got from Box Lunch. A lot of these I got during Box Lunch money, so I really only paid half price for them. But I love this bag so much, it's so gorgeous. It is the blue Cinderella dress bag, and it's got the carriage, and all these fun little details. What I really love about this bag is this bag charm of Jock and Gus Gus, and the holographic sparkliness. It's just so, so pretty, and the bow. Just everything is but it was just put together so so well the inner lining is her pumpkin carriage with a back zipper pocket so i have another rapunzel bag um this is pascal technically a sidekick bag i got this one from hot topic it's actually pretty good size for a hot topic bag and it has side pockets which hot topic bags do not always have i just love pascal i think he's the cutest thing ever i really want like a bag dedicated to maximus that's really why i loved that purple one so much because i saw maximus was on it um, the inner lining is really pretty color, and then it's got a zipper in the back, which not all top topic bags have. Usually it's just like a pouch. We have another little mermaid bag. This was actually my sixth year anniversary gift that I got in 2019, and it's a just an aerial replacement bag featuring flounder and it's just and Sebastian. It's just that kind of deep ocean vibe. It's super, super pretty. It does have side pockets, and the cardware is rose gold, which is very pretty. And the inner lining is these little flowers, and it does have a back zipper pocket. We have another Sleeping Beauty bag. It is the final Sleeping Beauty bag. Don't worry. I got this one on sale from Loungefly's website, and it is one of those sequin bags where it goes pink and blue. And we have the Loungefly plaque and her tiara with some side pockets. The inner lining is so cute. It says make it pink, make it blue, and it has a zipper pocket with the fairies. And there's a charm that also says uh, make it pink, make it blue. We have another Rapunzel bag. I know, you're so surprised, right? This one is super cool because it lights up, which I will show you in a second. It is um, Rapunzel and Flynn Rider by the Tower and their little boat when they're singing and at last I see the light. And it says, I see the light back here. Here is it. It is lighted up. I do feel like they could have done a little more lights, more than just three, but it is pretty bright, as you can tell, which is nice. And then the inner lining is all these lanterns, and the little switch pack thing is in here, too. I was waiting for a Mulan bag that I loved because there was one pin bag out, and I just wasn't a fan of it. And when this um, was leaked and I knew it was going to come out, I was so obsessed. It has Mulan surrounded by the cherry blossoms and Mushu. It is so, so gorgeous. I love it. And it has this really, really cute flower charm, cherry blossom charm on the zipper. A lot of the princess bags have bag charms, which I really appreciate. Um, and then we have Mushu as the inner lining with a back zipper pocket. The last two bags are villains bags, but I classified them with the princesses because they are in the princesses movies. So sorry. This is my Snow White Poison Apple bag from Hot Topic. I just love this one. I saw it and just knew I had to have it instantly. It has one bite and all of your dreams will come true with this pin stripe. It's very, very cute for Halloween too. It's like very spooky vibes. And the inner lining is black with a pouch that's very hard to see. Last bag. I did order, I pre-ordered from Blue Culture Tees, but this bag was sold on Loungefly, and I did have another keychain made by Delaney Marie Designs for this bag with Maleficent on it. Super pretty. Um, and it's just all these different villains, and I love it. I'm pretty happy with the placement because I did get Maleficent and 
uh, she's my babe, so. Um, and this does have side pockets. And then the inner lining is the Villains logo with a back zipper pocket. Or I thought there was. Oh, there's not, there's not a back zipper pocket. My last Disney princess bag within the collection, pre-orders aside, cause I don't know what I'm pre-ordering tonight. <laughs> um, cause of the day that I'm filming this is New Year's Eve and small shop pre-orders are dropping. Um, this is Gus Gus, he is the last bag in my collection. Um, he is so, so cute. I used him today, which is why he's the last one. And I just love him. He's just, he's Gus Gus. And on the back it says, take it easy, cluck cluck, which is a quote he says in the movie. He has this nice silver hardware. It's gonna be hard to show you the inner lining because my bag is stuffed with things. But it is a Gus Gus on the inner lining. I absolutely love my Disney princess bags. They are my only collection that is larger than Stitch. Um, I have 10 Stitch bags and I do have two I plan on ordering from 707 Street. Um, and then I do believe I'm going to order the alien face bag from Box Lunch with Box Lunch Money, assuming that it is in stock. So my princess bags are my biggest collection, even though I love Stitch. Um, I just love princesses and psychics, so I tend to buy those. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know which princess bag out of my collection was your favorite down below. And if you have any princess bags that I do not have that are your favorite, talk to me about it in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. And remember to keep moving forward, and I will see you next year. <laughs> Bye. Wow. All right. Let's go.